equations. So uh, we have uh, solved all the way up to problem 30 and problem 67. So we have solved about um, 31 problems and we'll, we'll probably solve one problem today, one or two problems depending upon how much time do we have. So um, let's, let's start looking at problem 31. Okay, so problem 31, uh, coin sums, let's, let's create a new, this is problem 31, we'll create a new Jupyter notebook, we'll call it problem 31, and let's just copy the problem. So this is problem 31, it's called coin sums. Point sums and that's the problem that's that's the problem okay so uh, let's let's read the problem in the UK the currency is made of pound and pence okay there are eight coins in uh, general circulation uh, eight coins okay so one pence two pence blah 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 all the way up to 100 pence and 200 pence so these things are let me see one two three four five six seven eight so these things are also coins because there are eight coins so these are coins and these are their values okay it's possible to make two pounds so we'll just call this two dollars and we'll call these cents it's possible to make two dollars in the following way blah 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 you can I'm sure if you add up, it's going to add up to uh, two pounds. How many different ways can two pounds be made using any number of coins? Okay, so this looks like a, a recursive solution. And generally when uh, we have a recursive solution, let me just connect my iPad. To the screen so that we can oh, it's true. okay so uh, yeah so let's let's take a look at this solution so basically the idea is that okay let's think about it we want to be able to let's let's solve a smaller problem let's let's say we have a one pence we want to create wow okay let's say we want to create um seven cents seven cents and we have one pence and seven one cent and two cent coins what are the different ways in which we can create seven cents so we can create seven cents by having zero or let let me just write it this way i think that this this, this is going to be easier so let's say I have two cents and one cent coins. So I can have zero two cents and seven one cents. I can have one two cents and I will have five of these one cent coins. I can have two, four, and three. And I can have three of these things and um, I will have one of these things. So there are one, two, three, four, four, four ways of, of doing this. So, okay, let's, let's start with one cent. Let's say I only have a one cent coin. There's only one way of doing it. So I have seven uh, that that's one way 
Oh, getting some intense. How about I have five cents, two cents, and one cent? Okay, so I can have zero, and I will have all of these combinations zero, seven, one, five, two, three, three, one. And then I will have one of these things, one five cents. And the remaining, I will have to create two cents. So I will have zero, two, that, that's the only, only way in which we can do it. Okay, so this, this sort of, hmm, this sort of uh, tells us that we have a, um, a, a way of solving the problem. So if we have a, so we start with this, we look at the number of ways we can create um, the, the seven cents we are trying to create. Then we go to the next one where we uh, add one more cent and then uh, so we have zero and the number of times we the number of ways we can create this and then all the ways we can additionally create given that we have another coin and then we add one more coin so this is all all of this is for 2c and 1c and then we add the five cents and we will continue to do this depending upon how many times five cents five cents goes in seven cents seven cents in this case it's only one okay so that's that's the general procedure so let's try to formalize this so first of all let, let's start with one cent one uh, so any number n can be formed with one cent only one time one way because yeah that's that's the only way in which it can be formed um, now two cents and one cent so any number n can form with a two cent and one cent by there being a zero and uh, n cents so that's that's the that's the situation and then uh, you can have two cents So that's that's what uh, one one way of doing it, and then we have um, n minus two cents. We we want to find n minus two cents given that plus. So this is one solution, and we want to find for two cents and one cent. So, how many ways in which we can we can uh, get this number using this? And okay, and for five cents, five cents, two cents, and one cent, we want to find the total number that will give us two cents and one cent plus n minus five cents for five cents uh yeah five cents two cents and one cent okay so that's that's the recursive solution and then Given this recursive solution, we need to uh, memoize this. So let's let's see how we can memoize this. So 
this this is called a dynamic programming solution so it's it's pretty standard uh, straightforward um, all these all these dynamic programming solution if you if you've ever uh, done the levenstein solution uh, distance between two words all of that the, these all have the same same format so uh, for that let's uh, look at a solution where we have we are using one set okay so that that's one row then we are having another solution that uses one cent and two cents and then we are having another solution that has one cent and two cents and five cents and so on so that's that's one one set so that that's where we are going from here to here to here so that that's where we're going from here to here to here right so that's that's the that's the jump and then after that we want to make ah, wait, let me see we want to be able to do a we want to be able to create zero cents one cent two cents three cents and all the way up to i believe 200 cents so that's that's the that's the goal okay so let us try to solve this problem okay so uh, now let's let's try to find for example let's look at seven so we have uh, seven cents over here how many ways can we make seven with three and then this is you know what let's let's write out the entire thing three so there is a four there's a five there's a six there's a seven and and so on and so on till we get to 200 okay so that's that's the that's the goal okay so having said that how do we solve this let's let's take a look at seven for example how many ways can we make seven with one cent there's only one way in which we can make seven with one cent oh um if you are not familiar with dynamic programming the way you solve for this this value is to find um, values in this region values oh, values in this region that that region where and you sum up some of these values depending upon the type of problem and then you um, you find this value based on a set of values in this region and then you progressively solve um, one one number um, and another typically what happens is that you will look at this value the one immediately above and this value one immediately to the left but depending upon the problem you might have to look at this value you might have to look at this value and so on so that's that's the uh, that's the gist of it so in this particular problem yeah, let me just delete these yeah in this particular problem we are going to see which values we need okay so let's say we are trying to solve uh, we are trying to find this problem we are trying to make seven cents with uh, one cent two cent and five cents like we mentioned before over here over here we want to first start with all the um, all the sets of problems that have can be solved with only two cents and one cents right so that would be this one so let's 
let's call this this section that section over here is that that this this number okay all all the all the number of values over here uh, the way of getting seven without using the seven cent, uh, without using the five cent coin this one so it's 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 that okay getting seven with this number and then once we have the five cents once we have the five cents uh, we should already have a solution for uh, 7 minus 5, that is 2. This one, because the moment we add, say we add 1, 5, then we have to solve for um, uh, 7 minus 5 is 2 given given uh, 2 cents and 1 cent and 5 cents so that that's the that's that's that solution over there okay and if we have 2 how can we solve we want to find 2 cents given uh, 1 0 and one and two, uh, sorry, given one cent, two cents, and five cents. Okay, so we want to solve this. We cannot use this, right? We can only use this or this, and there are, uh, you can have a two zero or a one zero and that's that's the only the, the two ways in which you can solve this okay and and this doing this will mean this one and and that's it and this will mean you will need this one and 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 this one okay so it, it it progressively goes in the right right place to find find these values and since we are solving them one at a time like that um, we just need to calculate each of these values once so so let's see let's let's see how we can solve this problem so um, with this let me Put this somewhere over here. And and these types of problems are um, fair, fairly um, there is fairly standard ways of uh, solving these problems. Um, so let's let's try to solve this problem. Okay. So first of all, we need a grid that looks like that. Um, we will have m rows and n columns so we have m and n m is going to be the number of combinations so that's that's eight eight over here so m is going to be eight and n let's let's start with a, a small n so we can we can go all the way from zero to seven and see whether we can we can solve for seven and if we can solve for seven we can solve for 200 so let's solve for seven um hmm. yeah that's correct and given that we want to be able to create this this memory okay because we want to memorize this so we create a memory is okay let's let's import uh, this this will just allow us to easily create a uh, an array uh, we will initialize everything with zeros zeros um, there are m rows and uh, n plus so for seven we will it will start with zero and it will go to seven so there are actually uh, eight um, 
eight columns. So um, we will have n plus one columns. Okay, and if we just uh, look at this, we will have a, a memory that has um, m times n plus one column. Let's let's do one thing. Let's let's actually create a function that will allow us to oh, okay, yeah, allow us to display this board in a better way so that we can keep track of what what is going where so display this uh, board so we will have a memory we will have i think m and n we can we can figure out from the size of the memory um, m and n equals uh, m dot Okay, and n is going to be n minus one, but we will, for display purposes, we will keep this as it is. Now we will display the header, which is just that. Okay, so that is going to be four. That's the column. Column in range n so this already has one more so we, we just do that and uh, let us just create the string directly so we will use an f string we will use c we will give a little bit of space let's say three four four and we will do that that and let's oh we don't need that we just need join that and this is the header and print print header So let's display memory. So it, it looks like that. And now let's display every single row. So for row in memory, um, R equals the same thing. This dot join. I should probably copy this entire thing like that and this is just row row and I should say print row and display memory okay there's a problem uh, okay Okay, so we we have this, and now we need to print. So the the column, the the first first index over here. So for printing the first index, we actually need to have these things ready somewhere. So um, let's say these are row values, uh, row values okay so the first one zero is going to be one the zero one uh, one the first one is going to be two the second one is going to be second one is going to be five the third one is going to be ten the fourth one is going to be twenty Fourth, fourth, twenty. Yeah, fifth one is going to be fifty. 
sixth one is going to be a hundred and the seventh one is going to be 200 so that's 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 that oh uh, there you go and uh, hmm. you should pass this in row values row values like that and um, I throw I throw let's enumerate this numerate this and we are going to for the i throw we will take the row bounds i throw and we will just add it in over there so we Reports and um, let's add the I throw over here, which is V. Makes sense. I will just put something like that. And let's say this is five D. Should it be like that? No, okay. Row vowels. Oh, I'm supposed to pass in row vowels. Row vowels like that. Okay. So this is correct, except that we have to shift this as well. We have five of these, then we have a space, and then we have that. Okay, so now this is we, we are creating the zero value. We want to create one cent, two cent, all the way up to seven cents. Okay, um, you can you in this row you can use one cent. In this row, you can use one and two cents. Over here, you can use one, two, and five cents, all the way up to you can use two hundred cents. Okay, so that's that's what we have. Now, the one thing to note is that if you have one cent, then all of this is going to be one, because there's only if you only have one cent, there's only one way of um, creating creating this this stuff. So. Um, we should just display this directly that okay and uh, so the the first the first row over here we should just put a set of formats mem all the rows all all the columns in the first row is equal to one oh, it's equal to one yeah okay so that's that's the solution for one so we don't have to do anything for one uh, also how many ways in which you can make zero given any number of coins is also there's only one way in which you can make zero so um, all of this is supposed to be one all of this is also supposed to be one so this this set is one this set is one now we have to start thinking about how do we if we are at a particular point let's say we we are over here we are over here then how do we find this value so it's it's equal to that value plus yeah okay so let's start solving this problem for row in range. So we have to start from one, not zero, because we've already calculated this. Okay, one onwards, one onwards. 
1 all the way to n plus 1 plus 1 okay and we are trying to find n for excuse me in range again we start with one cent okay we are starting with this and going all the way sorry this should be m m and not plus one although if i want to m i think okay we, we are going to see we are going to see and we are going to say the column goes all the way from one to n plus one n plus one i think uh, let's let's check mem uh, row row and column equals five something six something like that okay so that that's correct so we we are are getting cut in the right place so now uh, what we want to do is we want to say that if we are at a particular point then equals um, we go up one so the row is row minus one and row minus one and the same column so that's that's the first part the second part is i want to use this so for example the next one is the next one after five cents is 10 cents but if it's 10 cents i can't use that it it's not possible so um i can only use it if um this this value whatever this this row value is okay that that value is less than or equal to the thing that i'm trying to say so if the value that we are trying to get which is the column value if that is greater than or equal to um, the last last value in this case it's five cents so how do we get this this is row vowels row vowels and uh, the current row number so whatever that that is if that is greater than that I have to add mem now we are in the same row and we are at a different column so the column is going to be a column minus that that like that and that should be it oh we also have to add mem row and column is equal to the result hmm so let's let's do a quick check so two cents we can only all the way up to one we can only uh, have one way of doing this because and the same goes for all the way up to 200 so that's that's correct um, this is going to change at two cents this is going to change at five cents five 
Uh, yeah, it's it it's the one before. Yeah, so it, it changes at five cents. Is that it? Is huh? I think this is it. Let's let's do a few spot checks. Okay. Okay. Let's let's see. How can we make seven cents with five, two, and one? So how can we make seven cents with five, two, and one? And it says there are six ways in which we can do it. And this is one, two, three, four, five ways. Oh, no, six ways. One, five, six, seven, one, zero. So that's six ways. I, I think this is correct. How about this? Seven cents using this, there are four ways. Seven cents, uh, four ways. Okay, I think this is correct. Let's Let's go all the way, all the way from 7 all the way to so this is 7 we'll go all the way to 200 and that's that's a lot of numbers we want the last number is this the right answer I don't know let's see Alright, okay, so we have solved problem number problem number 31. Um, we have been streaming for how long? 37, yeah. Let's let's stop over here um, and we will continue next time. Um, also, thank you for uh, continuing to view this uh, channel. If you have, um, if you like this content, please like and subscribe. And um, yeah, I will see you next time. Bye bye.